Good afternoon, Eastern Mennonite School. We are doing new things these days, and this is a new one for me. We are beginning a series of little mini chapels uh, that will be posted the following morning, so tomorrow, Tuesday at 9.30. Uh, hopefully you will see this and uh, hear just a little bit of word from the Lord as God spoke to me this morning. First, let me read a verse of the day. This is from Ezekiel. Ezekiel was a visionary. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. So this morning I'm hopeful, really hopeful by choice more than feeling when feelings are uncertain. And so this morning when I came in, uh, I took this photo that you can find on our Flames Strong at EMHS net website and I encourage you to add your photo of the day uh, throughout the coming days and weeks uh, photos of what you're up to it's fun to go and see familiar faces of people that we love and we would love for your uh, faces and images and activities that you're up to to be part of our page so this morning I came in to the beautiful blossoms of these cherry trees that grace our front entrance and I also looked up and the sky was ominous as it was about to rain. And again, I decided I'm going to choose hope in these days of uncertainty. And I think the message from Ezekiel speaks much of the same. You know, what is a heart of flesh? It's a heart of compassion. It's a heart of empathy. It's making sure that you choose to give hope to other people through simple acts of kindness. You know, as you're stuck at home, it might be acts of kindness towards a sibling, towards your parents, maybe towards the elderly or a neighbor, perhaps for your teacher or teacher for you towards a student. But let's use this as a time of grace to make sure that our hearts of flesh are really evident. So today, I wish you the best day and the best week ever as you continue to work online and learn even though we're keeping a distance. I do have a few announcements that are flying away. <laughs> One is at the end of tomorrow or Tuesday, we are going to be sending out a two question survey for you and your parents to answer. Uh, question one is what's working well? Question two, what's not working well? And we would love for you to uh, respond to those so that we can figure out best ways to serve you uh, in these days. I invite you to join me in a closing prayer. Oh God, for those feeling the dark ominous clouds and perhaps the falling rain, draw nearer to them, comfort them, give your peace and rays of sunshine. And for those who are seeing flowers, help us to share our encouraging words, our actions and hopes for a better tomorrow. Give each of us hearts of flesh for the benefit of others, even as we have to be apart from one another. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a great week.